York City Fire Department personnel lost their lives on 9-11. We're putting up this mosque. That I got a problem with. Can you hear me, Obama? This is Andy from Brooklyn. Forget about it. They call this the Cordoba House. If you've been to Cordoba, you know that the Islamic people built a mosque right on the Catholic Church to demonstrate their triumph in the war against Spain. One of the most irritating questions I am asked again and again and again by the media is this one. How far is far enough away? Two blocks? Four blocks? Ten blocks? When it comes to this imam, there isn't a place far enough. Because we know... We know that this is a soft-spoken, smooth-talking, warm and fuzzy imam. We're after you, Imam Raouf. We, go, we are going to come get you. We are going to expose you for what you are. You are associated with no less than three Muslim Brotherhood front groups. He tells Americans here is, is exactly opposite of what he tells Muslims in, in, the, in the Middle East. What he's telling them now is very wrong. He is telling them that Sharia is already here in America and that our United States Constitution is Sharia compliant. The fight to reclaim America starts today where America was attacked at ground zero. Sharia is not good for women and other living things. Show me where in Quran, in Hadith, where the tolerant is. When our elected official lecturing us about the tolerance, and I know for a fact, those individuals, they will not allow to accept food in Mecca because they are infidels. No mass, no mass, no mass, no mass, no mass. Todd Beamer and other brave Americans on that plane took that plane down before they could do what they wanted to do. Todd Beamer yelled, let's roll. Let's roll. This is from Todd Beamer's dad, David Beamer, who's in Florida and couldn't be here with us today, but he's here with us in spirit. And he's a wonderful American. 
He said, I remember our Islamic enemies on 9-11 celebrating and dancing in the streets. While we have brave men and women giving their limbs, blood, and very lives battling our enemy. We have a mayor giving them the keys to the city. And we have a president who grovels to make Muslims feel good. This is a chance to teach our countrymen about Sharia. What it is. What it means. What it does. What it wants to do to us. And we have a chance to say, not on our watch. We have a chance to teach each other about what Sharia obliges all of its adherents to do. To engage in jihad. Not just the kind that destroyed this building, but the kind that wants to build that one. Sharia has two kinds of jihad. The violent kind and the stealthy kind. Now if your enemy kicks you in the teeth, and you lie down, he's going to kick you until you are destroyed. But if he kicks you, and you kick him back where it counts, then he's not going to kick you again. In Leesburg, Virginia, in Indianapolis, in Canton, Ohio, they're all saying it. of being the law of the land. This law threatens the safety of our people and the Constitution of the United States. Mr. President, to support Sharia law is an act of treason against the United States.